島にも You know what it reminds me of? What? You can't park that there. <laughs> well, nobody's really sure why he's, he's, he's holding his walking stick like that. There's three sort of theories. First one is... Victorious. Round about, round about, well, round about the time that was put up. It's only, it's only been here 23 years. Time it's put up. Um, Tony Blair was Prime Minister. So we thought that might be an act of aggression against him. And also they were discussing letting women in then. And most of the pensioners were against it. So that's what, that might be another reason that <laughs> holding it like that. And the third one is he's just going for a taxi. Looks like he's about to swipe a little much bit at his ankle or yeah, something. Yeah. Doesn't it? A little mutt at his ankle or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, this inscription down the bottom, it says, Lord, you know how occupied I shall be this day. If I forget thee, do not forget me. And that was from the first battle of the English Civil War. Um, a soldier called uh, Jacob Astley said that in a prayer at the Battle of uh, Edgeville, which is in um, in London. And part of that prayer is this. Oh Lord, you know how occupied I should be this day. Is that just an Jackson? I think it's the guy who sculpted it. Right. Yeah. Like I say, it's going to be 20, 20 years old. Yeah, what's that? I've just seen them going in there, I think. Oh, have you? Oh, he's going across the street. Oh, that guy's going to go back in there.
all put in here lengthways. And each one of them had enough benches to seat 26 soldiers, 26 pensioners from each, from each long walk. And this is where they had from 1692 all the way up to 1801. And I'll tell you why they stopped here in a minute. That gallery that you can see on this side, when it first opened, all the people came. Really? Yeah, they come and watch the chat. And um, you know, I said, mind you, watch some of me now, you think it still is looking at the same But that's what happened, we used to pay to come in there. So uh, so up all the way up to 1801. And the reason it, they stopped doing it, and the pensioners started eating on the long wall side. And the reason was the kitchen's the other side of that wall. But there was no connecting hatch, no connecting door, so all the meals had to be brought out of the kitchen, all the way along the colonnade, up the steps. By the time we got in here, it was Luke Walmart, it was cold. So they decided that pensioners go and get their own food from the kitchen, take it onto the long walls and cook it. On each of the long walls, and you'll see when I take it up there, there's two ranges, like Rayburns, if you like, um, on each wall. So this felt, this became like a, a, a recreation movement. Pensioners coming here with the pipes, come and smoke, come and read the papers, come and play cards or whatever it was you wanted to do. But also, it was used for army entrance examinations and also for courts martial. And the most famous court martial that took place in here was uh, William Black, Mutiny on the Bouncy. Captain Black, yeah, yeah, yeah. His court martial was over here. And he was charged with losing the bouncy, but of course he was acquitted because it was a mutiny. Yeah. He didn't lose it, he was taken from him. Yeah, yeah. So, but his court martial was over here. So, um, have you got any information on that? Was he as bad as he in the car? It wasn't really, no, it was, it was, it was, well, he was a bit of a tiger, but I think most sea captains were in those days. So, um, there's no evidence to say he was any worse than the rest of them. No. So, no. Um, it's just the way he's portrayed, isn't it? Yeah, it's just the way he's portrayed, yeah. And I'd like to say, most sea captains, they had to rule it rather the line, really. You know, they had to be disciplined on, on the ship. So from 1696 to 1801, then it became, became an entertainment. And then back in 1955, that's when it was returned to uh, the, uh, the purpose that it's got now. It's yeah. um, still there. Normally, still yeah, there. normally I would tell people about how, how the pensions eat, uh, how, how they order their food, but you've done all that yourself. So yeah, yeah. About that. So, uh, and eventually, the, uh, the long tables were cut in half and um, the benches were replaced by chairs. And that's the way it's been ever since. So have we got any age on the, the age of these? Not really, but well, well, I'll tell you the age of that one, and I'm assuming that they're all round about the same age. Uh, 1852, that's where the Duke of Collinson lay, the state, before, that, yeah, yeah. on that table, before yeah. before his body was taken down to... Um, that, that was in the video, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, his tomb is down there, and also Crystal Graham is buried down there. Yeah, yeah. The guy who designed the this place. And then obviously in this corner, from this corner here, all the way down to the over there, which is Iraq. Uh, Every single battle that the British Army has ever been involved in is on one of these battles. Not since they've ever been involved, but ever been involved in since this place opened. Yeah. Waterloo. All the flags you can see up here, again on, on the video, you can see all these flags here, they're all replicas. Uh, these are all French flags that were captured. Are they the Yank ones? Are they the Yank ones? They're the Yank ones. Oh, the I like them. Three, four, 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 They were captured in the war of 1812. And this, uh, we've got a Dutch flag and a, and a Spanish flag up here. They said they're all, they're not original, they are all uh, yeah. replicas because they've just got away after a while. About 60 years. Morning, Dennis. About, about 60 years, you know, they have got a rock. Yeah. So the Royal School of Needlework down at Hampton Court, they'll just say, so look, would you mind making us new replicas of these? And take them down and put them in there. I'd say great pride in telling the Yanks about them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they love it. Absolutely love it. That's on the Yanks about, that's on the French about them. The cannons. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love it. <coughs> What's the history of that? 
this clock. Yeah. Well, it was delayed to around about the first, the sec sorry, around about the end of the First World War. I've forgotten now. I will find out for you before you go. Who it was that donated it, but it never worked. There's nothing inside it. Now. I thought, how difficult would it be to get somebody to, to repair that? Yeah, yeah. It? Well, you know, the, you know the guy from the repair shop, Steve, yeah. who does the clock. Yeah, work? yeah. He came in here. He did. They, he was invited to come down, and he actually did a tour. And he said, "I'd love to have a go at that." So whether he ever will or not, I don't know. But it's never worked. Donkey's ears as far down. Singing was uh, banned, you know, theatre was banned, you know, there was no music, uh, Christmas was banned, you know, went out to eat mince pies, that was illegal. So, by the time Charles came back and he was restored in 1660, he wanted to uh, have this painting, it was, this, this again was an Italian painter called Antonio Verio painted this. And what he wanted, it was complete, this was uh, completed in, um, around about the time the hospital was opened in 1692. Supposed to depict Charles at a, at a time of plenty, a new era, you know. Once his place of his people, that they, they, they were, you know, they were going to enjoy new times, less in, less severe times, if you like. So you can see in the corner, you've got this cherub up here pulling the curtain back to display this scene where you've got King Charles himself in a suit of armor riding his charger over the multi-headed hydra, the multi-headed snake. These people here. I take it that the hydra is supposed to be Cromwell, is it? No, 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 no. Well, it might well be. Yeah, it possibly is. But the multi-headed hydra was, a, was a, like a, a mythical figure, yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. a mythical multi-headed snake. Yeah. So yeah, he might may well do. I mean, he had when Cromwell was buried. When he came back, he had Cromwell dug up, beheaded, and buried again. So, um, but these things over here are supposed to represent the four corners of the world. You've got the, the elephant's head there to represent Africa. You've got the Americas all represented here. Well, these are what you call cornucopias. Cornucopia is Latin for horn of plenty. All filled with fruit, all, you know, all, all, the yeah. good, all the goodies of the world. You've got the old Father Thames up here. You've got the twin figures here of Hero and uh, Hercules. And they're uh, placing a, a laurel with grief onto King Charles's head. So it's just a, it's called, as I say, it's called the triumph of King Charles. It's all just to, really to sort of give the effect to these people that he's back and it's going to be a time of plenty rather than all the, uh, the hardship he went through when, when Cromwell was the uh, world protector. And you can see in the background, he's riding through the, the hospital ground. Yeah, yeah. A load of nonsense, because the hospital, he died in 1685, the hospital won't finish until 1692. So we know that he never actually rode through the grounds. But it's like painting, and it's nice to think, you know, that if, he, if he'd lived, that's, that's exactly what he would have done. And, but this here, I remember they were talking about the Earl of Grandma, and he, how dodgy he was, and he was cycling for all, all yeah, the yeah. funds. This Latin inscription here basically says that Richard Jones, the Earl of Bradley, presented this painting to the hospital. And we know it's not true because in the archives we found the receipt for it. The hospital actually paid for this painting. Right. So this, this is a lie as well. It's just, just another one of those. Um, he was Irish, Richard Jones. Richard Jones, the Earl of Bradley, uh, was a, an Irish kingdom. But he came across here, he actually became an MP. Uh, around about the same time he was appointed to um, find, get funds for the hospital. And eventually he was expelled from Parliament because of all the, the discrepancies there were in his bookkeeping. Yeah. And he reckoned he siphoned off, not just from the hospital, from all the different um, things that he had going, about £900,000. And know? then? Yeah, uh -huh. so he was expelled from Parliament. And what year was that? 
That was round about, it was round about 1694, just after the hospital was finished. Yeah, there's a lot of money in it. Yeah, really. but it took him 30 years to sort out his, his finances. It counts yeah. like, yeah. Hello, Mike. I'm Mike. Yeah. Hello, Hi. brother. You're yeah. right? Oh, yeah, right. That's great, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just doing yeah, better looking than you. Yeah, thank you. You're more athletic looking, but he's better looking. Yeah, I'm sorry, mate. Have <laughs> a good time. Cheers, buddy. Thanks, mate. Off you go. Yeah. So, <laughs> don't, don't let me keep you. So this is what the walls look like today. You can still see the, the format. This is the old sign in spirit, obviously. Yeah. Um, you walk, man, you haven't walked. Oh, there's, there's a door off it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's why I like it goes down. Yeah, the first space you saw in the orange is birds on the middle. Yeah. That's, that's him. That's right. him. What's Ronaldo got to do with it? Well, he's a football fan, but he's a Chelsea fan, so why he's got this up, I don't know. Or has someone put it in there? Yeah. He's Walter Eastgrave, but he's a Chelsea fan. They all have our oh, flipping downs, right. don't they? Yeah. Morning, mate. Morning. 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 That's like your Ray Bird, isn't it? Yeah, that's what they used to cook on. Yeah. There's another one further down as well. So when the... the when the Great Hall became the yeah, recreation yeah. room, this is where the heads used to cut the food. Morning, Billy. All right, mate. Yeah, yeah. So what's this for? It just belongs to one of the pensioners. So he's yeah. obviously collecting his coins. Is it just as long Lord seven? Yeah, well, I suppose anybody could put yeah. money in. I don't know what they're going to do with it, but it's nothing. But like I say, you can see, you can see it's still yeah. scarves outside. Hi, Lillian. Yeah. We've got our own laundry room in here. We've got laundry service once a week. You wrap your laundry up in a towel and take it away and uh, clean it for you. But obviously, socks and knickers and like my silly seats, t shirts and things like that, I just bring it here. Yeah. Because we've got a washing machine there and a dryer in there. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll just use that. Just down here, we've got. If you, if you, if you want to have a bath, you can have one. That's it. Just one bathroom on each each ward. Yeah. So if, if, you, if ever you want to have a bath, I'm, I'm the bath is a bin, I'll just have a shower every day. Yeah. And then obviously we've got, um, and on this side, we've got like a disabled. Make sure there's nobody in here. Oh, there's, oh sorry, they're here. No, 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 just showing around. Cleaning. Yeah. We can show you. Yeah, okay, yeah. So it's just, um, I said it's like a more of a disabled bathroom. Oh, right, yeah, like yeah. Like an assisted shower, if you like. Yeah. So you can sit down and and have a shower on one. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You have more of them over at the uh, hospital, don't you? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. infirmary yeah. like. Yeah. 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 What's he calling that? <laughs> Mr. Mamrid! <laughs> don't panic! Do <laughs> <laughs> you want a picture? Aye. Let's grab a picture for right, me. Let's go over to the infirmary for it, short for lunch. Bentley Fermi, over the museum, what's yours for lunch? Yeah. 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 It's just got jigsaws and things. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, trivial pursuit there. It's just like a communal space, this people, you know, yeah. sitting on a chat. Mike, who's got the Edinburgh, he sits out there, he reads his book all morning. So the, the front of these are just. Yeah. The chill out space. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah you go in, like, like you saw on the, on the video, yeah. you go in. Study area, then the yeah. wet room, and then the living room. So on the video, what, yeah, yeah. Right, Mozart played in there when he was oh, nine right. years old. So this is what it looked like in 1740. So you see, 50 years after the hospital opened, as you can see, this is where the, the um, pensioners used to come in. Oh, yeah. sorry, but this was the front door, if you like. This was the entrance to the hospital. Yeah. So. But the rotunda, the pleasure gardens, it didn't belong to the hospital at the time, it was bought by the owner of um, And it was, um, but it fell into disuse, like pleasure gardens 
Hiya. 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 That's what you got the talk of in now. So, I wish. Yeah. So, if Bert doesn't mind, and you don't mind, these two just yeah. tag along. Well, this is the race. Just to mm. make sure we present this to the hospital by the, by the Queen. So, we never, have our, never had our own standard or our own flag. When the Queen presented this, this is what we use now, really, for ceremonial occasions as a yeah. standard. Is, is this what the. The Welsh guy, that's what we used to carry. That boy's on that cast, yeah, 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 that's what he used to carry. Yeah. He was the mace bearer. Oh, I don't think you're in the two minutes. Same shirt, I'm going to walk in. Yeah, yeah. So this was like this was the the old rooms, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's not um. What six is it, Alvin? That's not Grandad's that, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And with the vicar, anybody yeah. see my hat? So after, yeah. So after 1954, this is what the they extended the, the verse. Yeah. So 1954 out to 1990, this was the size of the verse. Yeah, so. yeah. And now they've got even bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but well, still there was no en suite no, facilities. No, no. You still had the, the you know, the, the yeah. four toilets and two showers. There's a painting. Yeah. To get them out. To get married? Yeah. yeah. When his wife died, he came back again. He came back again. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. How old was he when he came back? 109 when he came back? 114 when he died. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. But, uh, he didn't want to get married. He had to. He's your boy. Well, you got a pregnant or something? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And a lot of people think that <coughs> the Chelsea pensioners were just here. Yeah. They were. Have a look at the map. Yeah, yeah. 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 As Chelsea pensioners, they served as Chelsea pensioners. They they served as members of great. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm not quite sure what they've done during the war. So, as a Chelsea pensioner, back in the day, was he combatant? Was he in combat? I don't think they were combatants, I think they were probably looking after the store. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wheelchair. Wouldn't mind getting a push in there, yeah. A lot of it's self exposure when you've got the description yeah. on the walls, you know, but. Uh, yeah, you've still got one of these. <laughs> One pound note. Yeah. It's an armed forces one pound note. I remember the one pound note. You know what's funny about the, um, when we go on the Oxygen, the, the coat of arms up there yeah. from the Royal Hospital of Kilmanagh, but this is the dress uniform that they used to wear oh, until right. the hospital yeah. closed in 1922. Yeah. And this painting over here. This is the moment, I'm telling you about this is the moment of tension that died in the chapel. Oh, this one? Yeah, this painting. This guy, the boxes closing the chapel on that day, and you can see in those days that the, the pews were facing the altar. Yeah, yeah. This is not original, the, the original's in the uh, Walking Museum in Liverpool. Right. It's a, yeah. The last muster, they call it. And again, this is what you saw earlier on on the walls yeah, yeah. outside, the old flint. 
lighter and the yeah. Did they continuously burn them? Yeah. Was well, I don't, I don't know. Candles. candles oh, was it? Is that what it was? Yeah. How it works? Yeah, just candles yeah. went in there. Yeah. It was so just a wick continuously burning, like a candle. Yeah. Candle. Yeah. 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 Full of ash down there. Yeah, yeah. And then in here we've got all the other cap badges, medals from some of the centre. I've seen this in my pots. Yeah. It's brave. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can say I've seen it somewhere before. Yeah, she used to sit on that chair in the truth to move the car. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. Some medals in here. Well, there's, there's one row of medals here, which is incredible. All those belong to one man. Oh, wow. He's got six campaign medals of Queen Victoria, and his last medal was the Queen's coronation. God. So that must have been over. 56 years. Yeah, yeah. Easily. To have got that one. So I take it officers used to salute him, did they? I don't know. <laughs> Scotch Guards. It's incredible to think that one man could serve that long. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. In a league of his own, him, isn't he? Yeah. And if you ever see this medal, 1418 star, and it's got the bar. Yeah. The bar means he was an old contemptible and he served continuously. Yeah, right. Yeah. Otherwise, if you served. Yeah, it's without the bar, yeah. 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 Hi. Right. Guys, right, should we all grab a coffee? Yeah.